Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin charts together and going over the next major targets on this chart. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, going through yesterday's public free technical analysis video, I was making you aware I was in a short position on Bitcoin and I was obviously looking for lower, recognizing the weakness that we had in the chart. Well, that went exactly as predicted as we made our way to the downside even more. I will be covering now the next level of support and resistance that one can be looking at in well, probably for the next 48 hours time. So you're going to absolutely love this video. And yeah, let's get into the analysis. So um, <clears throat> Obviously, we are in, well, I'm personally in a short position from that swing failure pattern. We all know that swing failure pattern by now. It was obviously the top of the range that we had been waiting basically a month for. Because why were we waiting so long for this? Well, as you kind of know, we had not reached the high of the range <laughs> since actually the high of the range was put in. So we were waiting a very long time for that short position. And, well, we finally got it, obviously, on the 1st of August start of the month and you know this is this is this put a massive smile on my face not only for the beautiful girl hair but because I got to finally <laughs> finally give the meme of when you short the exact high of Bitcoin from the 1st of August I was looking forward to posting that video and post it I did and obviously surprise surprise I got it right as we have made quite a substantial move to the downside let me just emphasize, oof, I need to turn this off. Uh, I need to emphasize why this is such a strong downtrend. Ladies and gentlemen, as we can see here, we swing failure patterns, the overall high of the range, obviously at 4.30 a.m. And have a guess who was up at 4.30 a.m. for that swing failure pattern. Waking up very early in the day, and we obviously continue the downtrend. If you see this, ladies and gentlemen, it's a continuous lower high, lower low, 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 lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low. And this it could just be your potential lower high for another lower low. And this downtrend continues. This is very big bearish pressure. Yeah, this is a very big bearish pressure. The market structure is bearish right now as we trade at around $38,550, okay? So that's where we are trading right now with a downtrend to, to change to change this downtrend. You'd really want to see, in my opinion, a reclaim of that. You know, it's pretty obvious what's happened here. You have a big forty thousand dollar resistance as you kind of continued with the downtrend yesterday. You got this move to the upside, which topped out at thirty nine thousand nine hundred sixty five. E.g., people playing off that forty thousand dollar resistance. Obviously, coming into a local CC here. If you remember, you had da -da 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 -da, coming into that CC on you know, that $40,000 uh, resistance. That obviously held up pretty well overnight and we have continued the downtrends up to your level of support. Before I cover the next major support that I see on this Bitcoin chart, I just want to show you this Oh, this, this, this for me makes me just smile. It just makes me very happy. As a person that loves technical analysis, uh, you are going to absolutely love this section of the video. I want to cover something with Igor time uh, before we get into what's happening here right now. And Igor time, for the people that don't know, is it's basically you have four sections on the chart and you have your four profiles in the chart and uh, each of these pivots, you're expecting a major move. And yesterday was just the most perfect, perfect, perfect example of it. As um, we obviously had a bounce earlier in the day, which was this bounce here. This bounce here we had going underway. Well, we obviously, it was technically perfect because we come up into all of our resistance. You see this massive confluence of resistance that you came into. So you came into all of that resistance and obviously you did head down again. So that was pretty nice in itself. But what I had recognized earlier, this was obviously yesterday. And this is where you have to think. Think to yourself, how would you trade this? Because that's why you're here to learn. How would you trade this? If you see you're at support, and I think many people would have agreed at the time, this was, you know, people were looking at this as a support zone, no? We're like, oh yeah, this is really nice support. Uh, so you have to think to yourself, how would you trade this? You see a lot of longs opening at support. What would be your thought process? Would your thought process be, this is really bullish. We are seeing a nice increase in open interest. We are seeing a lot of longs open at support. That's what you might want to see now. And this is where, you know, you, you give people, even if they've learned exactly how I've learned, let's say, the difference that separates us all is the brain, no? The, the, the brain and the thinking power and thinking exactly as a market maker is going to think. And my opinion yesterday was, I actually want to see all these longs stopped out. I want to see lower on the Bitcoin chart because we are seeing multi-millions, hundreds and millions of longs opening here. 
and I want to get them stopped out. I'm looking for lower. I go on to expand. Within 40 minutes time, we have eagle time. Isn't this the most perfect time to see lower? Eagle time with absolutely wrecking the longs. And obviously that went exactly as predicted as basically 40 minutes later, we had the lovely move to the downside, bouncing off the NSPOC. It was extremely technical day. And yeah, if, if, you, if you want to see magic on the Bitcoin chart, it's recognizing, wow, this guy has the best brain in crypto trading right now. Recognizing that was likely to lead to downside, which I don't think many people would have. Uh, but hey, and then not only recognizing the direction of the move, but also the time it was going to happen. That's eagle time, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I will say this, if you want to learn about eagle time, we have the contender stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is the eagle time contender stream. If you want to learn about that, you can sign up obviously at chartchampions.com. I'll be going the ins and outs and you can learn all about that tomorrow in the contender stream. Very much looking forward to it as we get back to the Bitcoin chart now. So Obviously, yeah, we had that lovely bit of eagle time and we saw a move to the downside. You might be like, well, okay then, Daniel, fair enough. Where, where, what happened next? If you remember from yesterday's video, I was saying we have downside is very much more likely uh, because we had weakness in the chart. And we were also looking at this CC, weren't we? And you can see we came down to the CC and bounced off of it here around 9, 10 p.m. Okay, We were bouncing off the CC. And I said very clearly to my team, okay, this is the last post I will show you, that personally, I am not going to long at the moment. Again, that was around nine. I'm not going to long at the moment, really simply because of the fact we still had a lot of bearish divergences. This just felt like to me unlikely that we're going to get a bounce. Uh, E.g. I'm not going to long it yet. And well, what a decision again <laughs> as we come down lower overnight. Where did we come down to? Oh, thanks for being waiting for this level now for, for four days. Uh, the level of 37,900. 37,900. What was this, you might ask? Well, this is really simply taking the lows. Yeah. So we took the lows down here. And obviously, we're getting a bit of a bounce underway. So naturally, yeah, I do think this was a nice scope long position, to be honest with you. What we have to remember, though, is when I'm not going to get overly excited. Yes, I do think I acknowledge this was a nice scope long position. You know, I totally do. But I also recognize I'm still holding my short position, which I've actually compounded, by the way. So I've got that, that, that originally shorted here and I've shorted uh, actually down here. So this has given me a bit of more of an average entry now. So it's obviously brought down my average entry. But nevertheless, I am still going to maintain that short position even though I've taken a scope long because, well, I just totally re acknowledge we can just continue this downtrend. And it's like, yeah, it's worth the scope long, but I'm not I'm not feeling anything majorly bullish here, to be honest with you. I, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a trade that I had to take, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm not. Let's just say I'm not too optimistic currently. Um, <laughs> I'm really not that optimistic. Should we just take a really quick look at what's happening down here now. So. I mean, you have some you have some small term time frame bearish divergences happening here. This can be invalidated pretty easily, remember. But um, uh, you have a I mean, you have a lot of longs opening again. Yeah, I mean, I am in a, I am in the scope long, but I'm not massively optimistic. You, you can see you're actually getting quite a lot of buying pressure. So as soon as you hit the low, you had almost you know here 19 million, 14 million, you just saw 17 million. Uh, so, you know, you are seeing a lot of longs open here, but it's not, you have to think, you know, where's price trying to go here? And, and is it doing a good job of getting there? Well, currently not really, is it? Uh, I think we can start to say uh, we could have a little bit more confidence if we can come back at least into this back above that old 618. That would be very nice. So that would be getting really back above $39,000. No, we might have a little bit more confidence that, that that scope can turn into maybe a bit more of a day trade. Um yeah, I think that's the way that, well, that is the way I'm approaching it. So <laughs> that is the way I'm approaching it. Uh, so I think that we can really say in the intraday, we have a pretty big resistance, $40,000. Now that, that's our current resistance. And that would obviously change this local downtrend. We get back above some major levels of support resistance and back above a point of control. So I think 40k is a pretty level to reclaim. Um, you know, for the time being though, yes, I 
And this is where, you know, I, I think I might do a video on this because I still think people are confused by it. But I'm, I'm more than happy to have that scope long position here because there is obviously the potential that we do get at least a bit of a move up from here, a little bit more of a short squeeze, let's say. Uh, but simultaneously, I'm going to hold that swing short for me because I have the potential of this as a very nice swing trade. Remember, it was really simply the top of the range. So this is the best time you can look for that swing trade. And I literally got the swing failure pattern short. So I am going to take, well, I'm in, I'm in that scope long. I'm still in that swing potential short position and then I'll monitor how this goes in the day yeah so I'm not going to make any decisive um, you know there's no need why would I need to make a decisive bit of a, a call here saying we're definitely going up or we're definitely going down all what I need to do now is I'm in my trade and I can really simply react to the charts yeah I can continue to monitor this are we going to push through are we going to change the market structure or are we going to put in another lower high and continue the downtrend well the thing is all I need to do now is react. Yeah, I'm in my trades. I'm ready. I'm waiting. And let's just react to what happens. Okay. So currently we obviously are seeing a night, you know, we're obviously seeing a bit of a bounce underway here. Hence why it was a nice scope long in my in my opinion. Um, and that was obviously for the simple fact where we, we kind of took the, you took this low here and you obviously were in, into another NSPOC. For the people that know, they know. But that's uh thank you, Eagle. All I, that's all I say. Thank you, Eagle. And um, yeah, we're currently well, we, we know our important intraday resistance. I really do truly feel that this low is an important support level. If we lose that, I think, yeah, I think we can head down to towards the next next low. No. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of how I am literally trading uh, this right now. It's not that difficult, in my opinion. It's now just a simple case of reacting for the rest of the day, monitoring this price action, uh, seeing if we're going to put in a lower high or not. Um, that That's honestly simply how I am going to approach this after... Yeah, a pretty, pretty nice day of trading yesterday. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more about Eagle Time, that is how I managed to do that amazing call yesterday, obviously for the Champions Group that was. If you want to learn about that, if you want to know exactly how you do that, tomorrow in the Contender stream, I honestly think you'll absolutely love it. And I will obviously end with, as I always have to end with now, the legal disclaimer. Ladies and gentlemen, what I've gone through in this video is for obviously education, entertainment purposes only. It's for the people that want to learn how to trade. I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, you have to make that decision yourself, obviously, via the educational process. Um, so, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, you know what to do. Absolutely smash and crush that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you've really enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, I suppose I will catch you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trade the charts. Do not trade what you want. Trade the charts unless it's what I want. And then you have a pretty big advantage. Thank you, Eddie. I'm just going to, let's just say thank you and goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>